Hello everyone, Cobra here. Today we're going to continue our gameplay of Hitman World of Assassination. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project. A DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. So we have to kill some bioengineers apparently. Okay, before we start, I want to see something at here at Prologue. Yes, this guy. I didn't see his profile. Is there a difference? No, it's not. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, the Hitman. World of Tomorrow. Planning. The same old dream. The casual. Let's kill and destroy. Kill people and destroy the virus. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. And a good day to you, sir. Sorry, sir. Can't pass through here. Today is the anniversary of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. So we are going to kill him by using flowers, huh? Fine, nice. fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. Yeah, I know I gotta tell her about the accident. Just... I'm working on my story. 
Oh boy. Yeah. Later. You really did something bad, buddy. Come on, go there. Or how do I make sure that? Can I talk to him? No, I cannot talk. Can I at least hide the body? Come on, man, there must be some clothes here, right? No, not, not push, should be. Hope no one sees the body. Nice. Nervous? Oh, don't be, this is just a formality. Thank you. Have a good one, sir. Been a month already, huh? All right, the delivery guy. Flowers for a Mr. Caruso. Well, where are they? Oh, go find them and don't come back empty handed. Really, some, some people. Flowers for a Mr. Caruso. Ah, excellent. You can leave them on Mrs. Caruso's grave in the garden. Come along, I'll show you the way. <sighs> Such a devoted son. I want to see something in the options. Let's see, let's see. The audio. No, 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 no. I want to see uh, something. Okay, subtitles. Subtitle indicator. Side. Subtitle. Yes. Subtitles indicator. Yes. On. Leave it on. I want to see who speaks. Why I, I didn't see anyone. I didn't see the butler who speaks. But whatever. Maybe because he doesn't have any name, or he maybe he's just not important. I don't know. Come on, Mr. Butler, show me your ground. 
Rousseau? Nah. Ah, here it is. The guy. That is Silvio Caruso. So, down the stairs near the cliff. You can't miss it. I will inform Senor Caruso. He will be pleased, no doubt. Okay. Let's face this. Good work, 47. This should keep Caruso distracted for a while. Oh, don't tell me they have... Oh, no, 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 it has bodyguards. Oh, boy. This might be a problem. Oh, he... Hey, hey nothing to see here. No problem, no problem. Just a simple guy. I have a return package for you. Come by this afternoon, okay? Cold for shorts today. You didn't tell me your cousin was back in town. Ah, do I detect a certain attraction to the dashing private detective from Milan? Oh, what of it? He's cute. Actually, uh, well, I really shouldn't tell you this, but he's here about a case. The client is Francesca DeSantis. You know, the, the female doctor that's staying at uh, Villa Caruso. Really? Wonder what she wants with a snoop. Well, you, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Where'd you see him, anyway? Couple of streets over, sleeping on a bench. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's Sal for you. Always According to our research, Sal Falcone, a private investigator from Milan, has performed services for Silvio Caruso in the past. The question is, does Falcone still work for Caruso, or does DeSantis have an agenda of her own? Only one way to find out.
as a Nighthawk. Hello there. Hi there, package man. Find out what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Santis, Sal Falcone. Sorry for the delay. I needed uh, to uh, tie up some. Do you please ends. stop that ridiculous behavior at once? Yeah, yeah. Just got into town. Down at the pier? Sure. Straight away. All right. No time like the present. Um, see you in a bit. Sexy voice. Mr. Santis, Sal Falcone. Sorry for the delay. I needed uh, to uh, tie up some few loose ends. Yeah, yeah. Down at the pier? Sure. Straight away? All right, no time like the present. Um, see you in a bit. Hmm. 
I don't know how they, they found the body, but at least I'm not disguised as him anymore. Well, let's hope he doesn't do anything stupid. But how did he find the body? Uh, whatever. Oops. Mister? Are you kidding? Pick a page out of the history books. No, man, whatever they're doing over at Villa Caruso, it's got them scared shit. I would like to do more than follow your wife around town again but you know I'm, I'm on a case down in Sapienza uh, did, didn't Marlena in reception tell you ah Christ you know what do I pay her for anyway uh, I gotta split curly I'm waiting for an address here look I'll give you word when uh, when I get back you know we'll, we'll shoot some pool get you back on your feet all right Oh, Curly, you human punching bag. I'm not sure I've seen you before.
buddy. That is Francesca DeSantis. Good thinking, 47. This is one time the dame won't fool the detective. Ah, Mr. Falcon. Looking slightly out of place. So, uh, what's this about? Oh, walk with me. This is all too public for my tastes. This is far enough. Mr. Falcon, what I am about to ask you might be highly unorthodox. Go on. About a month ago, Silvio Caruso hired you for an acquisition job. I need to know what exactly it was you acquired and why. I'm afraid I can't do that. P.I. Confidentiality. I, I, I am willing to pay you handsomely. You could retire. Hire others to dig through garbage. Don't think so. I like to get my hands dirty. <sighs> if you wanted to claim the moral high ground, you could have done so over the phone. Saved us both a trip. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um... I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man lost his life. <clears throat> a good man. Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip-up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I- An accident at the ether lab has claimed the life of a scientist. His body is currently stored at the town morgue, 
and a guilt-ridden colleague plans to visit there to pay her respects. Between them, these two have everything we need to infiltrate the field lab. Yeah. But he's dead, Father. And nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, am I merely being selfish? My child, grief is for the living, not the dead. You do whatever you need to do, because his sorrow has ended, and yours has not. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I will. I like that 47 despite being a killer he's still praying. What's strange is that he is born in Romania. I mean he should be an orthodox Christian, not a Catholic one, but who knows. Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. Sir, this is a restricted area. Oh restricted area? Okay. If you say so. Okay, how on earth do I Managed to hit that guy unconscious, but who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. What's up? Threads, buddy. I'm from the church. Can I go in? Uh, sure, friend. Uh, you can go into the mortuary, no problem. But just stay out of the morgue for now. Sorry. Company orders. I understand. As potent as an idea whose time has come. No, I don't have second thoughts. But still... Being here, I wonder. Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach.
with this field lab. He made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Okay, made a mistake. Again. I hope this time it will be much better. Just be careful, comrade. I mean me, I have to be careful. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit.
so did I just kill the guy? Okay, I didn't know that you could kill the guy if you, if you put it there, but whatever, I guess. So if this is acid. Okay, how? Ah, this one. Oh, damn it. One dangerous compound. What should I do? Processing. Wait, I can combine compound. this. With this. One dangerous compound. Processing. Okay. Looks like it worked. Come on, go already. That's the spot. The security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. 
You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, sadly I have to go, I have a call and uh, I have to go somewhere, so I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.